Mr. Emmy Learmont, Senior Vice President, Western Districts Branch, RSL, lest we forget. <laughs> Mr. Phil Reed, President, Toowoomba Subbranch, RSLA, in memory of fallen comrades. Mr. D. Lawton, Harlexton Subbranch, RSLA, in memory of fallen comrades and nursing sisters from President and members. Mr. B. O'Shea, Senior Vice President, Western Districts. On behalf of Brookstead Subbranch RSL, lest we forget. On the 30th day of September, 1985, demolition begins of the Mother's Memorial in Toowoomba. You've got a shift 
Even when the council had been talking about this for a long time, arguments still developed up to this day. We have had many phone calls and we would ask you at this critical stage to call a stay of proceedings uh, uh, for one month <coughs> until no the, way. Uh, and they have their mind to do it, so they are going to do it. Like, you want to, but first of all, you want to take your leaders to the RSL, because uh, a poll or, or a question here, will you con de concede defeat? And they said, no, we'll go on fighting. As much as say, we're wasting your bloody time. We, we don't want to shift it anyhow. Whether you get a public opinion to say it's going to shift or not. And Reg O'Shea was one of the people to say this. Up and down my office. Now, I didn't now, say it. If you want to get people on the side, these are your leaders. These are the place you've selected to, as your committee. This is what they told the council. They made an appointment to the council to come and see us about the draft of the memorial. They had to tell us what they wanted to come and see us about. Fair enough. Then people spoke about the draft of the memorial. All they spoke immediately, they got stuck into the draft of the memorial. Made in 1966, one fellow said to me, you know, the mistake was made long ago, and I wouldn't say anything, but I think, you know, the mistake in 1966 was that this was not declared, or preliminary steps were not taken to have this declared a reserve for the purpose of the memorial, just the area. That would have been a tough one for you to get over. It would have been and I, Yes, all right, for your information, as a private citizen, I made an application to the Minister of Main Road and he was going to consider it. So he didn't want to play ball. I wrote to the Minister of the Lands Department and made the same application. But you wouldn't listen to I've said it about We've had about six or seven reasons. Oh, I got another one yesterday. Well, my reason that I've given all along is we want to put the memorial in a bit of a reason I've said it. But it's only got to be a better reason. And then side track, And I said, well, why can't you incorporate uh, them in, in them all? And you said, oh, no, that isn't feasible. They seem to have done a pretty good job with in, uh, incorporating the cenotaph in Martin Place in Sydney. And, but now you've got some other garbage about a ring road. You've forgotten about them all now. Now it's ring road. What will it be next week or the week after? Some other rubbish. Is this you did so, you gave us your warranty. You were morally obliged to uphold Mayor Godsell of 1922 because of your office, and nothing more. And he had the opportunity in uh, two and a half years' time to overcome that. On the 29th of March, you're able to stand yourselves and you might have got to win your plans.
you know, get in there yourself. Well, I'll have two wasted the right there the old lady. There's no money for a uh, one three quick, which would save people's lives. How many? Come on. Pay $300,000 to move a map. If you didn't get there, That's not what this is. I don't know how he shot about that. But what he doesn't understand is that some people are not able to do that. Even though they still argue, the dismantling still continues in the background. His condition is going to be staying up there and there's no problems. Now, the big man. The removal of the top part of the actual memorial. They actually first removed the actual uh, top ball part. It's a long job to make sure that nothing could possibly go wrong. to make sure everything is secured and got her up to go. Yes, 
Here it is, it's separated from the memorial. We have lift off. Because the gentleman had been there all day with his dog. This is the site uh, earlier on in the day where the mother, Mother's Memorial is now actually uh, positioned. A lot of work is still required. Uh, the grass has to be laid, uh, the paving has to go down, etc. A lot of people believe that this wasn't possible and the City Council could not do it in time for Remembrance Day, which is the 11th of November. But the City Council was strong. They said, yes, we'll do it and do what they did. Still at the site they are taking the pieces slowly apart making sure not to damage anything. And the crowds still watched and they still dismantled. This is the site when they started to build on the uh, new location. As you can see, the paving is uh, all getting organised and we started the reassembly. Many people working very, very hard. Many people just working too. This incidentally is zoned 
around the uh, middle of October 1985, photographs were taken. And he's hard at work getting the old concrete off, getting ready to put the pillar on. This is a few days later, I should I say, sorry, a few weeks later. You can see the concrete's in place for the paving. Paving around the memorial has been done. And the actual memorial is completed, it is fully erect. And the flagpoles are in position too. It's hard to believe that's what it looked like. Bit of clever photography there. The bricks around the, the wall here were from an old prison apparently. There was some controversy over that too. But still they, they do make a very nice pl uh, place in the park. of a bad time. <coughs> Sorry. At the beginning of November. The grass has grown. People are coming and looking at it. Which is more than what happened at the old place. Notice the paving. It's very, very nice. Very well done. The City Council did an excellent job of putting together the new memorial. The whole place is lit up at night. And uh, the council was also talking to putting the flags up all the time across to the ceremony which occurred today, the 10th of November. It was a really beautiful day uh, on the 10th of November 1985 and people flocked to the memorial to see the official opening. There was politicians, there was the mayor, there was all sorts of people. And there was about approximately you know, three bands. There was uh, quite a few people standing on the uh, pathway leading up to the please move and, because uh, the It was extremely well put together.
and left. Serious occasion. This is the unveiling and the dedication of the relocated Mother's Memorial. And I think perhaps we could reflect on the changing ideas over the last 60 years, remembering that our parents or grandparents or even great-grandparents who assembled in Margaret Street over 60 years ago when this memorial was first dedicated. You will remember then the Great War was four years over. The war to end wars, as they said. And now here we are, 60 years later, one mammoth conflict later, not to mention numerable other wars, which Vietnam was the most concerned to us, and even today around the world, other wars. great honour to welcome you all here this morning and a special welcome to Mr Cameron, uh, the immediate past president of the Queensland branch of the RSLA, uh, our members, uh, three members uh, representing the churches, uh, all of them of the Toowoomba City Council, uh, members of parliament, long stops of traffic, you march out, you lay your and your duty and you all walk back on the footpath again. We could not have a ceremony like we're having here this morning I'm sure if the memorial were where it uh, originally was in, in Margaret Street. So, in the, uh, since the 30th of September, it, I think it was a very sad day, really, to have to re remove the memorial, but some of these things are things that have got to be done. If we want progress, I think we've got to uh, just bite the bullet sometimes and do what you think is best. And this is what we felt uh, we were doing. It was just 12 months ago that it was voted by the Coomba City Council that we would shift the memorial. And uh, here it is now today. Yes. Uh, doing their duty here, it's very, very good to see. And uh, then the Zara I'm aware of the Zara Cell back myself. A lot of the people in Australia. I'm very proud to wear the day. That you'll come here today to join in this special occasion. A special day. Just look up around you. There are so many things that we should all give thanks to God for. The things that are ours. What a marvellous day. This beautiful and very, to me, a very sin significant memorial has been a familiar and well-loved feature in Toowoomba for the last 64 years, time since. For example, in a previous memorial to one of the men of the Queensland Mounted Infantry who went away to war in Africa, 1899 to 1901, the original soldiers of the Queen, even before the birth of the place Queen. here before, will come up after the formal part of this function is over and have a close look. The wording on this plaque says, the
So it was on this day, the 10th of October 1985, that the Toowoomba City Council officially opened the new positioning of the Mother's Memorial. We were witnessed by many hundreds of people from, the Toowoomba, from Toowoomba City and also from a few visitors too. The new Mother's Memorial will stand very prominent in its new location and will make traffic flow a lot easier down Margaret Street. This is Alan Simpson concluding in our first documentary on Mother's Memorial. Here's some shots taken after. I didn't realise I had this film left. But just of the crowd and the people and the crowd. Here it comes. Wait for it. Oh. Shit. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Where's the people? There they are. There's the people. Lots and lots of people all looking at the memorial saying, wow. And there we go. The tape's just about to run out now. And that concludes the live coverage of the Mother's Memorial. Thank you.